Hey guys, Pim Fenzo. Wait, let me sort this out. That's better. Right. I'm going to show you something. What well, might be random, might be silly, might be crazy, but to me, I don't know if it's going to work yet because I'm not. I've only just got them in. As that's this. I've shown one like this before, where I keep a prepared fire, fire in, and that is these the makeup bags. I was sent these by a friend of mine because, basically, I said I'll buy one enough. But these pouches, what I've got, were taking up far too much room. Yeah, and so now I've gone into this. And as I said, I've only just got in this today. So I'm hoping this would work. And I know everybody talks about the bug art well. We can't, I've looked into getting something like that, but I, I just don't know if it's shipped to the UK because they don't actually say. It just says ships to a calendar in America, so I'm assuming it doesn't ship to the UK still. So. Yeah, so my friend said, well, I just get one of these, and I said, yeah, that might be a good idea. Instead of sending me one, she sent me two, so I'm going into the second one. I'm going into this one now, and then later on, when I do a camp out, I'll show you the second one, because the second one's different compared to this one. This one here, to me, is shelter and fire kit. When I mean shelter and fire kit, I mean literally shelter and fire kit. Yeah, up here, I have my pegs, my cordage, there is my fire kit now. I know a lot of people might say what happened to me, but they will last second. It saves me hunting around for my, in my rucksack, I found. I'm, I'm, I'm finding. Yeah. And, yeah. And yes, it's not black, it's brown, I know. It's weird. <laughs> but yeah, but that is my fire kit. Everything I have in my old fire kits in this one pop from the, what do you call it, fire piston. That's the only one that's not in here, but I might add my fire piston back in here and the side is yet. But there's loads of room still, loads of room in the cordage pouch, loads of room in the peg pouch. My ridge lines are up here as well. Yes, I mean ridge lines, I mean there's two in this one. And down here I just got a large bin bag or or wobble bag, whatever you want to call it, there's more time just there, that's it, that's all that's in there for the minute. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that and tell you what you think. I think a smart idea so far, I really do, especially when it comes to, like this one here's the fire one, and I can get things out of it because I find 99% of the time, if I'm setting up a shower. I'm making, I'll be, after I've set up my shelter, I'm doing the fire afterwards. I'm not doing the fire before my shelter 99% of the time. I do have another fire kit, as you all know, my emergency fire kit. And I do have another fire kit on me at all times, my EDC fire kit. But this one here is dedicated to my rucksack. So, yeah, it's, as I said, there's not a lot, there's a lot in here, but there's not a lot in here at the same time. It might look bulky, it might look heavy, but it's not. As I said, I think it's a quite a smart idea, which she's recommended. So, yeah, these are, as I said, these are makeup bags or makeup or um, hygiene bags, one or two. But, yeah, as you can see, the whole of my, apart from my tarpaulin, of course, but my pegs, my cordage, and my um, fire kit is in there, and I like it so far. So, tell me what you think. Tell me if you would do exactly the same thing or not. But yeah, I'm just trying to get less bulk out of my rucksack. So, and getting rid of all these separate pouches is probably going to help a lot. So, thank you very much for watching. Let me see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.